You've heard the phrase, you are what you eat. Well, today on Go Island, Van Clayton Powell is telling us you are not what you eat. Today on Go, instruments required at Nanaimo Elementary School. 49 paintings in her 49th year, an artist in Campbell River, and the scene in between. That and more today on Go. You Are Not What You Eat was released in June of this year. It is authored by Van Clayton Powell. He's here in the Parksville Library. We're going to talk about it's not so much what you eat, but how you eat and your eating patterns today on Go Island. We're going to get to that in just a few minutes. In the meantime, we're going to throw things over to Annette Lucas. She's at Park Avenue Elementary School, one of the only schools in the district that still at the elementary level has a band program, but they need help. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're here in the Parksville Library because Van Clayton Powell is doing some presentations based on his book, You Are Not What You Eat. Now, we've been told, I'd say pretty much all our lives, that we are what we eat. Yeah. Why aren't we? Well, you know what? You're right. We're bombarded with this idea that we are what we eat. And it's, it just gets overwhelming at times because the advice changes all the time. Let me just show you why we are not what we eat. Imagine this tube, this 25 feet high, hollow, open at both ends, but it's not straight. 25 feet, almost two and a half stories. Wow. So about eight inches below the top, it widens into this pear-shaped bag. Okay, so this all would right. be my mouth up at the top here. I'll tell you after. I'm going to put putting jelly beans right. in there and uh, all of those good things. Bacon. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Then it narrows again, forms a series of loops and coils around itself. Most of the 25 feet is right there. Okay. Then it widens once more, forms a large arch over those loops and coils, and finishes with the bottom end pointing down. And we all if know you, where that goes. You wrap a body around that. You've got a human being. Mouth, stomach, small intestine, happy little anus at the bottom. There's your large intestine. <laughs> Here's the key. You understand this. Just because you put something in there when you eat it, it's not in your body yet. Right. It's just inside the walls of that hollow tube. In order to get into the body, it has to be digested and absorbed through the walls of that tube into your bloodstream. Okay. Otherwise, it's going all the way through, coming out the other end, or else hanging around and causing problems. Okay. So you are not what you eat. You're only what you digest and absorb. So, so some people would blame, like, I like can't eat gluten because my body doesn't process right. it properly. Right. You're saying hogwash. Well, in some cases, there are congenital allergies. You, right. you never mess around with those. But in a lot of cases, these food sensitivities that develop it's not the food, it's not the wheat, the dairy, it's the damaged digestive system that's causing the problems. In some places, the wall of this tube, only one cell thick. So if that's okay. irritated, things get into the bloodstream that shouldn't be there yet. The body has an immune response. So in that case, we need to make sure this is strong and healthy. And then, ultimately, we should be able to eat almost anything we want, as long as we don't have a congenital allergy of some okay. sort. We're going to come anyway. back and talk about how you can get maximum absorption, absorption yep. into your system by how you eat, not what you eat. When we come back on this edition of Go, we're going to take a short break. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. You've probably heard that you are what you eat. Well, Van Clayton Powell says, forget about it. You are not what you eat. We've showed you the process of what happens once you chew your food, where it goes. But how can you do anything differently than just eat the food? bunch of different ways. There's seven steps I talk about in the book and so okay. they range from simple things like chewing your food better, right? Can My dad used to count the number of times. Yeah, well, chewed. I thought it was crazy. There's even a case I talk about in the book in the book where prisoners of war survived by chewing their food better, but not only do you get many more nutrients by chewing your food well, it actually stimulates your immune system. Actually, there's even a research that shows it might help prevent age-related memory loss. So if that's filled with acid and enzymes, yeah. the better we chew it here, the easier it is to digest it when it gets in here. So okay. a simple thing like chewing can make a difference. That's intake, one of seven kind of points One of seven. Yeah. Intake of fluids around mealtime can also have a big influence, not only diluting what's in here already, but forcing it out of the stomach into the small intestine before it should mm. be there, which can irritate this lining of this tube again and cause problems so here. You're saying there. don't drink while you're eating? I'm saying that eight glasses of water a day might be a mistake. And you know, there's actually no scientific evidence that we should be drinking eight glasses of water a day to remain hydrated. 
not only nonsense, thoroughly debunked nonsense based by, or according to Dr. Margaret uh, McCartney writing in the British Medical Journal, eating between meals, snacking, this idea of grazing can cause problems as well by dramatically slowing down the emptying of the stomach. If this is our stomach, we don't want to keep putting food in on top of what we've put there previously. It can slow down the whole process, interfere again with everything that's going on after this. Now I'm going to admit that I haven't actually seen a copy of your book because the <laughs> library here, there's 120 plus on the waiting list to get the one or two, three copies that they have here. Oh, Twelve, I think. Twelve, they got 12, 12 copies. Yeah, 12 copies. You presented in Campbell River recently, sold out, last copy, gone. You've got a shipment sitting now in Nanaimo for more presentations. And I'm wondering, is the style of the book scientific or is it really for a layperson like me who just wants to know chew 50 times or Great don't question. eat ass nine o'clock it's, it's a combination of the latest medical science and techniques from Asia that are thousands of years old highly practical I'm irreverent I think it should be realistic mm -hmm. so it's people tell me they sit down to read it and three hours later they're you know they're finished and they go back to the beginning again really fun easy to read and ultimately really really practical will teach you what to do we're going to get a few more tips from you before we wrap up this edition sure. of Go Island. In the meantime, over now to a woman who I'm sure chews her food the appropriate number of times. Marjorie Greaves introduces us to an artist who is dedicated to painting 49 pieces in her 49th year. Still ahead today on Go Island, preparing a chicken with our island chef and David Lenham's top 10. It's the scene in between. That and more still ahead today on Go. I know what it's like to set priorities, absolutely. You tell yourself you're going to do something, you know it's important, but for some reason, somehow, it keeps moving on down the list. So 49 paintings in her 49th year. Congratulations. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen. We're hanging out in the Parksville Library today, having a conversation with Von Clayton Powell. He is the author of You Are Not What You Eat, contrary to what you probably think. We're going to have more tips for you on how you eat is more important than what you eat. In the meantime, we're going to throw things over now, speaking of food, to our island chef, Michael Williams. How to prepare a chicken? Not what to prepare. Well, yeah, maybe there's some of that too. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're here in the Parksville Library with author Van Clayton Powell. He's the author of You Are Not What You Eat. I don't have a copy of the book because it's sold out. Even Van's personal copy was sold in Campbell River. There's a waiting list here at the Parksville Library. And um, it's been great. We're having a whole lot of fun. It's not what you eat, it's how you eat. But how do you know if how you're eating isn't working for you. Signs and symptoms yeah. real clear. So gas, bloating, feeling tired and lethargic after a meal, increasing number of food sensitivities. So you eat a food, you get cramping, migraine, headaches, inflammation, diarrhea, things like that. Um, what are some of the other and things? And how quickly? I guess it's per person. Like I say, well, I yeah. eat something that's not... The worse, the worse the digestion gets, the faster it comes on. That's how people know I can't eat that food anymore because as soon as I eat that food, I get these problems. Bowel movements, obviously loose bowel movements, frequent bowel movements, even constipation. Obviously undigested food, food particles, pretty much irrefutable evidence. You didn't digest it, but the body still used energy to move it through. You've lost energy by okay. eating that particular food. And we always blame the food. Yeah, we do. That doesn't agree with me. Yeah. Don't eat the beans, yeah. you know? And in some cases, it is the food's related. You know, I should make clear, we should eat the most nutritious foods possible, of course. without a doubt. That's only half the equation, and that's what they talk about in Asia. The other half of the equation, the one we ignore, is how you eat. And uh -huh. that's what the book's about, how to eat to improve your digestion. And it's okay to cheat. I know we're, yeah. we're really short on time, but once your digestive system is working properly, yeah. then there's more room to eat what you want. You get to cheat more often. It's great, <laughs> yes. I can tell you do this. I do, all the, more and more. And I used to not be able to eat all these foods. Now I can eat anything I want, and I cheat much more frequently than I used to. Okay, great. We're going to throw things Cheers. over now to David Lenham in Victoria. I'm sure he cheats all the time, but <laughs> there, we're not going to go there. Here is the scene in between. I think I've been guilty of that on occasion, doing 
both parts of the interview or never actually letting the guests speak. Hopefully we have not done that with Van Clayton Powell today, author of You Are Not What You Eat. He will be making presentations in Victoria early in the new year. There was a waiting list at the Parksville branch of the Vancouver Island Regional Library. You can get your name on the list at this branch or other branches across the island or visit the website youarenotwhatyoueat.com. Thanks for watching this edition of Go Island. We'll see you next time. I'm off to eat chicken with gravy.